Hi there, my name is Shane Menzak. I'm a customer account manager for UFA based out of the Spruce Grove location. I'm also a member of the five-person livestock production team based throughout Alberta. Today we're going to talk to you a little about maternity pens and their common uses around the farm during calving season. My, my big saying over the years in veterinary medicine was any maternity pen is better than no maternity pen. So uh, I, would, I would encourage anybody that doesn't have one, you will find it a big labor save and it will pay for itself very, very quickly. And if you happen to be pulling a calf, for instance, and it prolapses its uterus, you just keep it in the maternity pen. And the maternity pens have saved a lot of cows' lives over the years. There's no question in my mind about that. Today's maternity pens are designed in such a way that they're used for many other uses other than just for calving. You can use them for trimming, clipping, minor treatments and that sort of thing as well. One of the main advantages of using a maternity pen are the safety for both the handler as well as the cows being worked on. Maternity pens should be placed in a fairly wide open space within the barn. You want to have plenty of free access to the back end so if you have room for entering calf pullers or any other work you have to do on the back end of the animal as well as you don't want the front end facing a wall or another barrier that will prevent the animal from freely moving into the head gate portion. Once the animal is restrained in the, in the maternity pen, they really aren't able to move or, or be able to kick or, or provide any dangers to the, to the handler at that time. It's also safer for the animal because while you're working on her, you're not moving around with calf pullers and that sort of thing and it's just a, a lot safer for everybody involved. 